Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. So far in this course, we've discussed two things. The first thing, we started with the three centers of triangle and then we moved on in our last video to discuss the cyclic laterals or at least to take a quick look at their properties. Now we'll start uh, by mixing these two results in order to get some more powerful results. So in this video, we will revisit the orthocenter. So as you can see, here I've just drawn uh, a triangle ABC and I've drawn the orthocenter H and also the three altitudes AD, BE and CF. Okay, I've told you before that uh, the orthocenter H is very beautiful with cyclic quadrater quadraterals because actually it gives you lots of cyclic quadraterals but can you guess how many we have in this uh, diagram well you can pause the video and try to find as many as cyclic quadraterals as you can actually the number of cyclic quadraterals is six yes although this diagram is very simple we just have the orthocenter H and the three altitudes we already have six cyclic quadraterals. Okay, but what are these cyclic quadraterals? Well, let's find out. Well, the first one actually is A, E, H, F. So let's write it here. A, E, H, F. This is in fact a cyclic quadrilateral. But why? Well, actually the reason is very simple. Remember, this is an altitude. BE is an altitude, right? That means that this angle is right angle, right? This one here. And also, CF is an altitude. That means that this angle is right. So that means that basically, in the in the quadrilateral AEHF, we have the angle AEH is nine uh, is uh, ninety degree. And H, F, A is also 90 degrees. That means their sum is simply 180 degrees or pi, which means that this is a cyclic quadrilateral. But actually even more, because as you know, uh, this angle is 90 degrees or pi, pi over two, that means that the diameter of this circle is in fact A, H. So in fact, A, H is the diameter of this circle because a e h the, this angle is 90 degrees that means that e lies on the circle with diameter a h and the same holds for f so f lies on the circle with diameter a h so in fact the first circle or the first cyclic quadrilateral is a e h f with diameter a h so this is actually the first one and of course the second and the third one are the same by just applying some symmetry, simple symmetry. Uh, the first one we said that it was A, E, H, F. That means that the second one is B, F, H, D. This one here. And the third one is actually C, D, H, E. The one here. So now we already have three cyclic quadraterals, but we said that there are six, right? So we need to find more, th uh, three more cyclic quadraterals. Okay, so actually now let's write, uh, let's erase this and try to find more cyclic quadraterals. Well, now in fact, you have the quadrilateral E, F, B, C. This one, let's write it here. It is E, F, B, C. This is in fact cyclic. Well, why? Why is this cyclic E, F, B, C? Well, now we will not use the same uh, formula. We will not, uh, of course, in here we don't have uh, a 90 degrees uh, angle here because F, E, C is clearly not 90 degrees, but remember that this right here, 
is 90 degrees. So B, E, C, because B, E is an altitude, this is 90 degrees, right? And the same holds for C, F, B. This is also 90 degrees or pi over 2. But remember, in our previous video, we said that for a, cyclic, uh, for a quadrilateral to be cyclic, it is enough to have uh, two angles uh, to be equal, right? Uh, in this like uh, in this way so since c e b is 90 which is equal to c f b that means that we already have e f b c is cyclic and in fact the diameter of this circle is b c right because this angle here is 90 and this is 90 that means that that the circle with diameter b c is the one that uh, is the circle of this quadrilateral so that means that the fourth cyclic quadrilateral is E, F, B, C. And of course, we have the fifth and the sixth one uh, just the same way. So the, sec the fifth one is actually uh, D, F, A, C, this one here. And the last one or the, the sixth one is actually D, E, A, B. So this one right here. So this is, in short, the six circles that are hidden uh, within the orthic triangle. That's why it is the master of circles. So see you guys in the next video.